happening? What's going on? Welcome back to another gig log. Yeah, it's way too early. It is now 6.30 on the dot. That's 6.30 in the morning, by the way. And uh, we're off to a wedding. I just did a wedding yesterday. my fourth one this weekend I actually feel pretty good though I don't feel a droggy I'm gonna pick up some coffee and I'm also gonna pick up my man exclusive today we're also working with my man Kevin it's a Dominican wedding today hell yeah so you know it's gonna be fun they also have the Ora Loca show as well as sparks and dancing on the cloud should be fun we're at this place called the tides I've been there multiple times I don't know if I've made a video on it a little bit nervous day weddings can be a little bit difficult biggest tip I can give you to get people dancing when you have a day wedding is just to go for it early so if you're like me you probably you know plan out your sets holding some of the bangers until after dinner with day weddings I typically go for it right away and if you're not in a place that does pre dinner dance sets what I recommend that you guys do is that you know you don't really build towards that high energy I recommend you just go for that high energy music just get it going get the blood flowing because uh it can be a little tough it's a little bit tough to get people to move this early in the morning so if i'm up this early you gotta imagine that the guests are also up this early as well because chances are they gotta get their suit they gotta get their dress they gotta get their hair and makeup did as well so they're up just as early as us so you know it takes a little while to get it going so your role is really just to shock the system and get it going quickly let's uh drive over there i don't like driving and vlogging but i figured i'd speak to you guys now right, let's hop on the parkway and head to our wedding hour and 10 minute drive today so not bad gotta get my coffee though first so uh, let's roll who is up this early on a sunday starbucks is packed what is wrong with people I've got that doctor money right there. <laughs> Tired, so bro? Oh, no. <laughs> well, it's cold as hell. Summer is officially over. Everything from last night is in here, so uh, it's a little f***ed up in here. Let me show you guys. So, <laughs> this is everything. Holy shit. It's freezing out here. It's way too cold. Way too cold out here for <laughs> What's up everybody, what's happening? DJ Kev here, back at it again with another gig log. Oh, We're out here at Tired the State. It's looking very nice. Oh, man, <laughs> Tell them we about to go set up this photo booth, you know. Right, we about to set up photo booth. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> That's going in. All right, right here guys, right here. This is where a uh, photo booth gonna go, this backdrop right here. All right, guys, so check it out. This is our photo booth. This is what it looks like. We got the Spanish props today, yeah. So uh, this is it right here. I love this new backdrop. This is, uh, this is very nice. Over here, we got the prop in. Got the photo booth, grab a prop, strike a pose. We got the hats. We got the, you know, Hennessy bottles, whiskey bottles, all that stuff is there, champagne. And uh, this is what it looks like. We got the station here. Sorry, we we're closed for the time being. And then we got a couple signs. Things got x-rated the other day. I gotta say that. So uh, that's why we got this one. We had girls flashing the camera. It was awesome. I love seeing that. I love seeing people having a good time. Show us where babies feed. It's, it's natural. In Girls Gone Wild, America Uncovered. And over here, this is our uh, main room. making progress we're pretty much done we just got to do a little bit of cleanup photo booth as I showed you is already complete we just finished up our setup as you guys can see here it's um, nice Nice, very nice. We did run into a couple issues and I'll show you guys. So this venue has very low ceilings, so the moving heads just barely fit. So basically what we had to do is you guys can see there, the floor, the ceiling kind of sinks in a little bit. So we just had to fit the light in there. And then we tested it, we spun it around a couple of times. Whoops, 
shouldn't have done that. Uh, I forgot that it was on. We spun it around a couple of times just to make sure that it is, uh, it's good to go. We did the same on both sides. That one's kind of tripping out. I'm kind of freaking out about it. Let's go inside over here and make sure that we are good to go. And we're good. If you look at the positioning of our room default, what we called them, it's kind of messed up because yesterday we had super high ceilings and today we don't, so that needs to be adjusted. We're still with the red from yesterday. That needs to be adjusted as well. We got the two sparks. By the way, pro tip if you guys are using sparks, Got to get yourself a little brush because these will get your laptop dusty and everything like that. So just get yourself a soft paintbrush like this and, uh, you know, wipe these bad boys off. Look at this. Super dusty. Super dusty. Oh man, Julio over here is taping up. Kev, he just uh, did the Nimbuses. It's a bit of an easy gig for us. It is a day one, so we'll be done early. Uh, also today they do have the uh, Ora Loca show or Crazy Hour. Sometimes that includes just dancers, sometimes that includes the robot. Some of you guys don't like the robot. I personally do like the robot. I think it's pretty dope. I think it adds excitement. You like the robot? I've never seen it before. I don't know if it's too low because you see they're on stilts. This ceiling might be too low for the robot. What I don't like is short robots. Sometimes the robots don't come in stilts and they look short. It's so funny. <laughs> Gotta get this clean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes, I believe <laughs> I know what you were saying. I want you to tell the viewers what we got today for equipment. I don't know any brands, bro. We got moving headlights, we got sparklers, <laughs> we got dancing on the clouds. Woo! You got the, this light case that you still have yet to do a video on. Bro, that's like, it's, I feel like we should do like the running theme. We like, we've never made a video on this and like two years later, yeah, exactly. I've yet to make a video on this. Keep the anticipation yeah, going, just right? keep it going. And then when the video finally drives, it gets mad views. Big red button over here. We were going ham on this yesterday. We always use this as a little table. Pro tip. We got the dry ice. Bro, you got the Yeezys. Uh-oh. The Yeezys. Mm, nah, bro. <laughs> Damn, bro. He putting them to work too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How about that donda? Donde están las mujeres? Donde están las mujeres? It probably has like three good tracks on donda. Nah, I didn't like this house, bro. You see it? Coming. Oh! That shit burns, bro. I know. I barely touched it. I was like, oh, fuck. So my hands are all beat up. You gonna play pepper tonight? Pepper. <laughs> Remember that throwback? For my Dominicans. So we're, we're officially done here. We're all cleaned up, ready to go. We are gotta head to ceremony. Ceremony is pretty straightforward. Uh, actually, let me just grab the music for ceremony and then we'll head over there. By the power invested in me by the state of New Jersey. And as a minister of the Church of God of Prophecy. I now pronounce you. Pronuncio, lo declaro, husband. Esposo. And wife. Y esposa. You may kiss the bride.
alguna vez más, Amai Caballero, por favor, esos aplausos que se escuchen bien fuerte para los novios. Thank <laughs> you. 
just got married here at the Tides. Congratulations, guys. How was it? Did you guys have fun or what? Oh my God, I, look at me. Like, I didn't stop dancing a minute. Thank you so much, Mark. You did such a great job. Thank you. I was very confident that you will kill it. And everyone can stop talking about how great you did. Thank, <laughs> thank you for playing every single song that I put in the Oh, thank election. you, oh thank you so much for having us. Every single, every person, single song. Every single person came up to me and said it's the best wedding they've ever been. The best wedding. Oh, ever. thank you guys. That means thank a lot, you, guys. Thank you so much. You are the best. Thank you guys, congratulations. So that my friends is how a day wedding is done. This was such a fun wedding, good vibes all around. I had an absolute blast DJ for these people. It was just all around fun. That's all I gotta say, it was absolutely fun. And if there's any takeaway from this video, like I said at the start of this video, whenever you have a day wedding, you gotta go for it early. Now, that's not to say that everything went absolutely perfect because I am human and I want to share with you the good and the bad so I want to share with you guys a couple things that I personally did wrong first off I said evening and night a couple times not gonna lie I slipped up a couple times on the microphone all right ladies and gentlemen good evening and welcome to the beautiful Tides Estate for our celebration this evening all right ladies and gentlemen It's just very difficult to do, especially at this wedding. I was having to juggle multiple things. I had to juggle Spanish and English. And on top of that, I had to watch my mouth and watch that I didn't say tonight or night and things of that nature. And that comes with the territory. Whenever you do these day weddings, you gotta watch what you say. Honestly speaking, I don't think anybody minds or notices or even cares when something like that slips up, but whenever you are doing these weddings, if you wanna be like a true pro, then you probably shouldn't be saying things like tonight. Another thing that we kind of fucked up on, and it's a big one, this is a big, big warning to all you DJs out there. I always say it in every single gig log, always, always, always practice your intros. At this wedding, unfortunately, time got away from us and we did not properly Really practice those intros so what happened we did the introductions and when we got to the first dance we had an error so here's what happened I'm introducing the bride and groom I'm introducing the bridal party everything's running smoothly now I get to the introduction of the first dance as husband and wife I introduce the name of the song and nothing happens nothing plays chosen a wonderful song to share together so ladies and gentlemen please make some noise one more time as they dance to a song Entitled, By Your Side. There was a little bit of a pause, and looking back, it seemed like that pause felt like a lifetime. I'm like, oh my god, what's going on? Why is this song not playing? Did something happen with Toronto? Am I having one of those oh shit moments, Toronto crash or something like that? Now, luckily, it was none of that. There was an awkward pause from when I introduced the song to when the song actually started playing because it wasn't in that crate. Typically, when I do my introductions, I create a crate that's labeled entrances. It's got the first dance, the parent dances, and the intro music. Music, as well as Levels, which is the song that I talk over. Now, one of those songs slipped through the cracks. I did not drag and drop their first dance 
into that crate. It was dragged onto Serato, however, it just wasn't in that crate. So when I introduced the dance, Julio goes, wait a minute, that song's not here. And good thing that he did, make sure that you train your guys to follow along with you to not just be dummies because he could have easily just played the father-daughter dance song as opposed to the first dance song. A lot of guys would have made this error. Also, sometimes the songs aren't in order. Sometimes Serato disorganizes them. And if the guy wasn't paying attention, if he doesn't read the name of the song, then that could be another issue where you play the wrong song. And honestly, I'd rather have an awkward pause than have the wrong song start playing. So I quickly take over, I go in the search bar in Serato, I type in the name of the song, drag and drop it to deck number one, and I press play, problem song. Hey! I sat down to edit this video I was absolutely dreading getting to that part because when we were there in the moment it felt like a lifetime it felt like we f***ed up really bad but when I looked at the footage I timed it from when I introduced the dance to when the song actually started and it was only 30 seconds but at the wedding it felt like a lifetime if you can learn something from me is to always practice your intros and always have your guys dummy check you thank you bro so much for watching this video Video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the more frequent uploads if you are I would love if you smash that like button subscribe if you're new around here And don't forget to turn on that bell so that you can be notified next time we do another gig log I'm also going to be doing other videos So let me know what other types of videos you'd like to see do you want to see tech Tuesdays? Do you want to see tip videos lastly if you want to support my channel so that I can keep making more videos for you guys Buy yourself a piece of bar nation merch. It's listed down below you you can also download my DJ crates, my DJ planning forms, my DJ TV visuals, my DJ sound effects, which are also listed down in the description of this video. Lastly, if you're looking for a record pool, check out my friends over at BPM Supreme and use promo code BAR25 to save 25% on one of the world's greatest music pools. Signing off, DJ Bar, stay awesome, Bruce. Peace.